Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hook tutorial for beginners and this is our part 18. In this video session guys, we will discuss about logout underscore URL as well as we will see about lost password underscore URL. So these are the functions guys, according to these functions, these are the filter hooks that we are going to use. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our other playlist and previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks tutorial. So basically guys what actually these filter hooks means this actually means that logout URL the name clears is that we are going to change or manipulate the URL of logout section as well as this clears that we are going to manipulate our lost password URL okay so if you go to administrator panel now this is our admin screen okay so when I hover on the profile section of admin so here as we can see a logout option is there okay so if I inspect that so this is the logout URL and now we can actually retrieve this URL by using the function called WP logout URL. This is a function by using this function basically it's a WordPress function. So by using this function guys actually we can get this URL okay this actually provided by WordPress. And the second filter hook that is something called lost password URL. So basically when we just close this inspect just click on this logout section. And now this is our login screen. So right now as we can see that here is an option to reset our password something called lost your password. So if I inspect this link now as we can see that this is the URL actually WordPress provides and this URL actually we can get by using the function called WP lost password URL. Okay, so when we want to update, when we want to manipulate this URL, so basically we can use called lost password underscore URL. So here guys we can easily understand that this function actually returns the logout URL. So when we want to manipulate or change the logout URL then this filter hook will be used. Okay. So along with this is the WordPress function provides the URL of lost password. So if we want to suppose customize or manipulate the lost password URL then this filter hook we will use. Okay. So just back to editor. So this is the plugin guys so far that we have developed inside our playlist called WordPress hooks tutorial. So just scroll down. So firstly guys we are going to make use of these WordPress functions and now as we can see that how actually it returns the URL of those parameters. Okay. So let's do that. Let's make a function. So let's OWT get links. Okay. This is simply a function that we have made. And now I am going to link these functions with add action. Inside init action hook let me pass this function as the name. Okay, so right now we are calling on the init action hook on this callback function. Okay, so inside this callback function guys we are going to define some of the anchor tags and those anchor tags actually defines our logout URL as well as the lost, lost password URL. Okay, so let's anchor something called logout and this is for the lost password. Okay, so let's lost password. Okay, this is logout URL and this is something lost password URL. So just scroll down and now inside this anchor tag, first anchor tag, we are going to actually take or get the logout URL of WordPress. Okay, so within href, let's say that we are going to use the function something called WP logout URL. Okay, so just I'm going to copy this function. Let me paste it here. So inside this function guys we are going to make another use of function called get permalink. Okay. Get permalink. So now as we can see that we have defined a logout section and this logout section make use of these two functions called WP logout URL and get permalink. So by the help of these functions guys actually we can retrieve the logout URL from WordPress. Okay. So now we are going to take the URL of lost password. So href within href let's say that concatenate and the function that we will use something called WP lost password URL so just copy that and define that here okay so once we define just go to administrator panel refresh this page and now as we can see that at the header section we have two anchor tags so let me separate with the uh, break tag so let's say echo let's say br just put semicolon here and now save this file. So when I reload this page as we can see that we have two links now okay. So when I just inspect that 
Now as we can see that here we have the logout URL okay and now here we have the lost password URL. So these are the WordPress default permalinks, default links actually WordPress provides by the help of these functions that we have to use. Okay, so basically guys, what is the basic purpose of this video session? We want that when suppose we have to customize or manipulate to change the logout URL, lost password URL, so how can we change that? Now here comes the concept of filter hooks. Okay, so we are going to use our WP logout URL and now we are going to change the logout URL. Okay, so for that we are going to use something called the filter hook called logout URL. Okay, so let's see that, add filter inside this add filter function we have to pass parameters so first parameter we have to pass the filter name okay and the second that is called the callback function so let's say that OWT update logout URL okay in the third parameter we are going to pass the priority of execution and the number of parameters that we are going to pass inside this callback function okay so let's say that function this is the callback function and now inside this callback function we have to pass these two parameters okay so first let's say that logout URL in the second parameter something called redirect okay so here we have to return the our customized URL okay so just inside this function block let's say that return home underscore URL and now inside this function guys we are going to pass our custom link okay so something let's say that custom logout page okay and also let's say redirect to and this is something has the value of something this variable have okay so just paste it here so basically guys we have actually manipulated by using logout URL filter hook we have changed our custom logout URL page okay so if I save this page go to administrator panel and now reload this page once we reload as we can see that the logout URL has been changed something like here okay so just scroll up so this is the logout URL guys by the using our filter hook call logout URL we have changed this URL now next we have to change the URL of this lost password section okay so just back to editor so we have to define another filter for that okay so let's add filter inside this add filter we have to pass call lost password underscore URL this is the filter name and the second we have to pass the callback function okay so let's say OWT lost URL okay so we have to define this callback function now in the third parameter we have to pass the priority of execution and the fourth something called the parameters that we are going to pass inside this callback function okay so let's say function function name inside this function we are going to define two parameters so first of all let's say lost password URL and the second something called redirect okay now we have to return let's return home underscore URL and inside this home underscore URL we have to pass our own custom URL okay so let's say that custom something called lost password URL okay and also we have to append a parameter something for that so let's redirect to and something has the value of this variable has okay so just make copy and paste it here so when we save this page just go to administrator panel reload this page and now as we can see that we have successfully updated our lost password URL as well as as a logout URL so basically guys all we have done now so here is the question comes in our mind question is that that where actually we will use this type of concept so basically let's suppose that we are going to make our own custom WordPress project okay we want that someone clicks on the logout section of profile so after logout it will redirect to our custom page okay so that custom page actually we can pass right here okay and now inside the lost password URL we don't want to use our WordPress default reset password suppose we have made our custom lost password section okay so how can we update URL for that so in that case we have a specific custom page okay so now next we have to pass that custom page URL right here okay so basically guys by the help of this video session actually we understood about the concept of logout URL as well as the lost password URL and also we had we, we, understood that how can we actually manipulate or change by using these filter hooks okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day